this video was going to be a bit of a rant. But along the way, I found something quite interesting and quite useful. What do all of these songs have in common? Well, the answer is they all do something that you can't do in Easy Drummer or Easy Keys by Toon Track, and that is they change time signature. Now, whether it's the simple middle seven and a half of Mary Shaping Carpenter's Shut Up and Kiss Me, or the recurring time signature changes in something like Spirit of the Radio by Rush, they all avoid staying in a standard 4-4 all the way through. This has been known about Easy Drummer since Easy Drummer 2 came out. Back in the day, there were requests on the Toontrack forums for time signature changes to be incorporated within Easy Drummer. And at the time, somebody from Toontrack responded to say, yes, we're working on it. Well, they're obviously still working on it because you still can't do it. What you can do in Easy Drummer is you can change the overall time signature of the song. You can go from 4-4 four, four to any one of a number of given time signature changes. But what you can't do is go from one to the other within the song. And the same is true of Easy Keys. And the original inspiration for this video was the fact that you've got a nice new rock bass, easy bass release this month in October 2021, which they're advertising on their website as being about hard rock. And it even has a preset that's called a touch of prog. One of the audio demos on their website is even entitled Russia in recognition of the fact that Geddy Lee from Rush was originally a Rickenbacker 4001 user and is very much associated with that instrument, even though today he plays jazz basses. So that was going to be my gripe. But then I started looking into things a bit more. I started looking at the documentation behind Easy Bass. And I found something hidden away in the online manual. Now, you might think that the ability to have a time signature shift within the song track within Easy Bass itself isn't that important. You can get round it in Easy Drummer and Easy Keys by dragging the MIDI parts out onto your DAW timeline and edit them there as you need them. What's the big deal? Well, the big deal is that Easy Bass uses articulations for hammer-ons, slides, pull-offs, things that you don't get in Easy Keys and Easy Drummer. Well, what's the problem? There are articulations. We have key switches for that sort of thing, don't we? Well, yes, we do. But that means setting up a whole new set of articulations in your DAW expression maps or whatever it is you use to control your articulations. It's another set of key switches to work with. There is also a small problem with articulations, and that is if we pull up the online help for Easy Bass, you get this paragraph at the bottom of the page. If you play around on the keyboard, you may notice key switches that are beyond the range described in the key switch layout. Whoopie do. We'll tell you what the key switches are, but there are some others that we won't tell you what they are. So you can't rely on using key switches for your articulations in your DAW if you want the full range of articulations that are available in Easy Bass. So, I then started reading the manual a bit more. I've said before, I'm a bit sad for that. And this is what I found. If you go into the section of the Easy Bass manual labelled the song track, 
you have the things that you want to look at. The song transport bar, the timeline, working with grooves, exporting audio and MIDI. Now, when you do that, if we just jump down, sorry about that, should have warned you. It says here, if we scroll down, the key signature, as well as any tempo and time signature changes are included in the MIDI file. Whoa, hold your horses. Time signature changes? Yeah, because if we scroll back up to the top, it never mentions this bit. The time signature track, Easy Bass, unlike Easy Drummer and Easy Keys, has a time signature track. It's easy to miss. I'll show you where it is. If we jump over into Easy Bass, we are currently in 4-4, but let's say that at bar 16, we have a bar of 2-4. I simply go to bar 16, right click, and it brings up Edit Time Signature. So I can now add a time signature change. I just click on that 4 there and go make it into a 2. The only problem is that now, because everything is contracted, I just have to zoom in enough for bar 17 to appear so that I can then say edit time signature oops edit time signature add time signature change and I can go back to 4-4 I can close that time signature editing it's not obvious it's not there you don't see it on screen anywhere here but we now have a bar of 2-4 sandwiched in um, existing bars. Part of the reason why this is important is it's about where you pay your accents. I don't intend to use easy bass for bass lines. I like to plan my own bass lines in. I have done for years. But in terms of the articulations that are available, if we go into, if we just drag something down Pick a groove, any groove will do. And then we go into the grid editor. We have all of these articulations available to us, plus uh, we can put a slide on. It's very quick and easy, very visual to do it in Easy Bass. Try doing that in your DAW if you haven't got the right articulations. And even then, that's a particularly difficult one to do. So it's much easier to record your MIDI, record that MIDI into Easy Bass, and then edit the parts in Easy Bass to put your articulations in afterwards, after you've played it in on the keyboard, than it is to try and use key switches. So I have to say, I was very pleased to find that the elephant in the room the inability to change your time signature within easy products was in fact really only half an elephant. But it begs the question, tune track, when are we gonna get that in easy drummer and easy keys? Answers on a postcard. So there you are, it was sort of a rant, sort of not. If you've got Easy Bass, I hope that's uh, shown you that there are some hidden features. Certainly it's one that I'll be using because my songs do tend to feature multiple time signatures. I'm just an old prog rocker at heart. As always, until next time, you take care of yourselves.